Good morning. Um, so today we're going to do something a little different, uh, Grade Four, for the language and math. Uh, I I don't want to. I think I'm maybe I'm going too fast through some of these lessons. So I want to give you some time to get some more practice in. So I wanted to introduce you to both mathematics and read theory, um, which I want you to work on today. So the mathematics is basically, I showed it to you before, but it's basically an online learning tool. Um, this is, these are the lessons, I, so this is what my screen looks like. It's not what your screen, but this is what my screen looks like. So if you notice, I'm going to assign this one. I assigned dividing by 10, 100, 1000. That was a mistake. And I actually have not really figured out how to unassign it. I don't want it assigned. Um, uh, reassign it, but, uh, anyway, um, I don't know if I can take that off. No, I can't. So anyway, I don't want to assign that activity. So don't do this one. I see that, that, uh, Cohen, Larry and Kayla have already done it. Don't do it. Uh, this is the one I meant to give you multiplying by 10, 100 and 1000. So, so your screen, when you see it will look something like this. So you'll, sh it'll be, and you're just, you just put in the answer in. So nine, eight, two, zero. I'm going to submit it by clicking down here. It's right. And it takes me to question two. I go to question two, same thing. So just progress through the questions when you're done. Uh, you're going to hit this little box here which I cannot do. Uh, okay, maybe I'll just X out of here for now. Uh, so so uh, I want you to work on the multiplying by 10, 100, 1000, and also the half it. Don't do dividing by 10, 100, 1000. I got to figure out how to take that off. That was a mistake on my part. Um, and if you haven't done it yet, you should have already done fact families and arrays. So go through there and finish, finish the multiplying by 10, 100, 1,000 and the half it um, lessons, all right? So that, then you can play some games with some games on there as well. So uh, a lot of people have not gone into read theory yet. So I'm going to show you what read theory is. So when you log on to read theory, so remember, you're going to go just, it's readtheory.org. And your login ID I sent to you. So hopefully you know it. The password is read, lowercase, 2020. So no spaces, just read 2020. Everybody's got the same password. So you're going to log in. The first thing you're going to do when you log in is you're going to have a little a little reading test. This is not a reading test that I'm showing you. This is because I've already done the reading test. This is a little reading lesson. Uh, the good thing about the reading test is it will actually... Um, make the reading text that gives you just a little bit harder than what your reading test says you're at. So in other words, it's, it's, it's challenging you to get a little bit better. The words will be a little more challenging. But basically, once you do the reading test, it's going to give you a level, and then it will start giving you actual text, tests, texts like this, pieces of writing here, and there'll be some questions related to the piece of writing. There'll be nine, in this particular one, there are nine questions. Once you go through all of these, it'll give you another one. So what I want you to do for today is go through the reading quiz, so the, the, the thing that you, when you open it up, it'll give you a little reading quiz, and the first reading piece. I'm not sure if it's gonna be this one by the water, I have no idea. Um, if you wanna see your statistics, you can even go in here where it says my progress, and it will actually show you um, the, your levels, so which is sort of cool. So this is, I've actually gone down, believe it or not, since the first uh, the first quiz I did and then this, the last one I did. So um, uh, I, was just, I would think I was rushing. But it, it shows you your reading level, you get some knowledge points, it has quizzes for you and so forth. So uh, I want you to do the, the initial reading quiz, um, and then the first reading passage that has some questions here. And that, that'll basically get you going when it comes to reading. So those are the activities for today. There is no other uh, homework as, or activities that I want you to consider, except that uh, I did want to mention that I would like to do to try another video conference this coming Friday. So Today is, I think today's Wednesday. Yeah, today's Wednesday. So in two days, I want to try a video conference in the morning at 10 a.m. So keep that in mind. I'm going to send you an invite through uh, your calendar this time, but you should also get it in your Gmail, hopefully. And this time, hopefully, we can get everybody onto the video conference software. So anyway, uh, that's all I have to say. Uh, have a good morning, and I will uh, talk to you tomorrow.